underpaid for years. That's what thousands of school workers in the United States' second largest school district say they have to put up with as they kicked off a three-day strike in Los Angeles on Tuesday. The employees gathered outside the LA Unified School District headquarters, shouting slogans and raising placards. They pressed for a 30% pay rise along with other demands. Local 99 of the Service Employees International Union says many of its 30,000 members, including school bus drivers, custodians, cafeteria workers, and classroom assistants, earn so-called poverty wages averaging just $25,000 a year. Teachers also came out in support of the striking workers. Finlay Bunting was among them. As teachers, uh, we spend a lot of time with the support staff. They're just magnificent. They work their asses off. And they've been starving. They've been under underpaid for years. And this has been these negotiations have gone a year without any progress. It's a typical LAUSD thing. They can't get off their butts and negotiate and get this done. The strike is the latest in a series of job actions by education workers across the country who complain of burnout and low wages, leading to a teacher shortage in many parts of the U.S. L.A. School Superintendent Alberto Cavajo has acknowledged workers have been underpaid for years and the district was committed to reaching a deal. The strike has disrupted class for nearly half a million students in L.A., many who rely on schools for meals, counseling and other social services. Dozens of meal distribution sites opened on Tuesday, giving out free food for students as schools are shut.